Okay, the second part of uh, building our planning boards is to cut. So what I've done is I've taken, uh, I made my cuts. These are 24 inches long, okay, and uh, I marked all of my drill points and cuts on one board. Now you've got to determine which side you want to be the, the uh, planning boards to work. Pull to the right or the starboard or to the left, the port, and that's how we'll make our cuts. What we want to do is we want to take a 40 degree cut off the back. Two inches from the bottom, three and a half inches from that corner, mark and cut. It's going to be about a 40 degree cut. We're taking a 45 degree cut off the front of the board. And again, this is the front of our board. So we want it to pull away this way. Second thing we do is we move our lead board in three inches as you can see, and we want to clamp it right there at that point, exactly three inches in, and put a clamp. I use these regular clamps right here. After it's clamped, with this board forward, we drill our holes, support holes. Three and a half inches from the back, mark it, three and a half inches from the back. All of our holes are two inches from the top, two inches from the bottom, in the front, six and a half inches, the bottom, five and a half inches for our top. After we clamp it, we drill straight through both boards. And this will give us the offset that we need to pull it away from us. After you're done drilling your holes and making your cuts, everything is sanded. Sanded down completely. Now that we've sanded our boards, I used a electric sander, it's 80 grit sandpaper, and be sure to sand all the corners, edges, the ends completely, round over, smooth your board all the way around. Nice, smooth finish, make it run well in the water. Also keep in mind that the lower part of your board is the water down side. That gives us natural ballast to keep our boards down in the water and get away from what's called tipping. After I've sanded it and it's ready, I'm going to prime and paint. Primer I like to use is Kills. It's a premium primer and uh, sealer. Seals the wood real well in the water. Once you put two coats of Kills on, what you want to do then is find a, the color that you like. This is a fluorescent. This is a bright yellow here by Krylon red by Krylon, or just a nice school bus yellow paint. And we want to make sure that we get at least two to three coats of paint on our boards to make it seal very well from the water. 